Okay. Yeah. Uh, you said kind of uh, when starting a business, uh, implementation is kind of the, the biggest thing. Yeah. Would you say in your experience, kind of the, the the critical steps from going from a plan or a concept to you know getting it that implemented? Um, it's a good question. I, I think you know. Yes, you want to start. Traditional having a business plan and doing all that background stuff is, is really good. But I think, um, again, depends on what the concept is. Um, uh, it's a good question. I guess steps. I don't know if there's any critical path to, to steps. I think what I would say is that the sales and marketing, understand that the product itself, maybe this is a good way to say it, the product generally is overrated. So the product or service is just one part of it. How do you sell or market the product? You know, Tide's not the best detergent. Gillette's not the best shaver. They've never, they don't win tests. They just sell the most. So who's correct? Is Gillette right or is Wilkinson right? Wilkinson is, um, Pabst Blue Ribbon has way better beer than Molson's. Molson's out sells them 100 to 1. <coughs> who's right? So the marketing and sales, the, the biggest brands, you know, the reason people buy Gillette is because there's Roger Federer commercials. Gillette's 10 times the cost of Bic. If you buy Bic, you don't cut yourself. You don't, you don't, I don't come in and I'm bleeding because I used a Bic, but people don't buy Bic, buy Gillette. People buy Tide, they buy brands. So even from day one, understanding that having a good product or good idea or good service is probably 10%, and people tend to think it's 90%. And then it's market sales and marketing, sales and marketing. And again, marketing. When people say marketing, marketing has to lead to sales. So if you just, it's not. It can never be just marketing. Have a good idea, just market. It's marketing leads to sales.